Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Whose name is My Web, and in this video, we are going to create a product cards or a product box for this product section. In the last episode, we are already create the product section and product heading section of that heading of section that. Okay, now let's coming back to our test editor, and here is my industrial PHP file. Okay, after the class of a uh, section heading. And just click the enter and take another div class and the div class name is section product cards okay now after that uh, it's not a box product box okay it's a whole section of all products okay all product boxes now after that uh, after that I take another div class and div class name is product hyphen card okay you can simply write another things anything like box or card okay now I simply write the product card and what we have in a single product box we have images product name and product price extra okay now so what we have in the first okay we have image so at I write the div and the class name is product image because we have a image product image and write the IMG tag and the source have oh, I'm so sorry yeah and we have a images folder and I already have a pro product images folder okay uh, which is already given in the description link you can simply click on it and download all the images which I uploaded on Google Drive okay product images and type ln l4 jpg and you can simply leave the alternative tag or a product you can also just name product name okay which is other uh, changes changed by dynamically when we are using PHP okay now let's press the control s and save and re refresh the browser for check it as you see we have one images okay now coming uh, in the after that mm, yeah after that I write a content for products so write a comment and these are product contents okay uh, actually these are product hovered contents okay now I take a div and the class name is product con card contents okay card contents and I take a button also for uh, I add a card button so button and the type is button and just take a mm, I take a f icon from font also so I class FAS FA hyphen card and close it okay uh, I, I think for hyphen card hyphen plus okay that's cool now press the control s and check in the browser again refresh okay as you can see we have a card button also right here okay now let's go, go back okay I take a class update button also so class btn btn warning okay now present class and check in the browser yeah that's cool okay after that content now it's time to write the product details so, so again I take a day that and the class name is 
product details so product hyphen details and it's time to write the product name so product name okay h5 and the product name is men's t-shirt okay t-shirt with a sport mark okay and the class of h5 is product name okay product hyphen name yeah that's cool and what do we have to do next thing for that so we have p and the class name is product price product hyphen price and the small uh, rs 400 okay and the class name is text danger because that's a regular price so as yeah now check in the browser again refresh as you can see that the price is cutted in the middle okay and uh, our market price this is the our market price and our offer price is span and the class name is text success okay and the price is rs 250 okay it's indian currency you can also put in at here uh, the dollar okay uh, basically uh, i'm just put the uh, write the rs R. okay as you can see that that's uh, the that's a regular price 400 and this is the 250 bucks which is offered by us okay now coming back to the style this is for style them because it's not looking too good now I'm coming back to my style CSS file okay okay and after that Okay, yeah, I just click enter okay now now the first thing is set the style of that section product cards okay so I write a dot section product cards section hyphen product hyphen cards okay sorry section product cards okay the width is 100% and the margin from the margin top is near about 30 pixel okay dot product hyphen card this is the this is for wait this is for every single product box okay now the width is now 250 pixel the height will be 400 pixel box shadow and mm, the box shadow is in the front of is 0 pixel from the bottom is 2 pixel the shadow effect is 10 pixel and the color is RGBA 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 point 3 okay now and after that the position is relative because all the contents are relative with the position absolute by another things like contents okay 
and the when he, it's overflow then it's it will be hidden because we need to do that and the margin is margin from top and bottom is 10 pixel and the from left and bottom is left and right is 20 pixel okay now let's press the control s and save it and refresh okay it's nothing to change because that we have only one image okay now and go down now it's time to change the style of uh, product image so product hyphen card we have product image it's have img okay now the width is 100% and the height is 300 pixel only okay press control s and save it okay now it's time to change the style of card contents the card contents the po position is now absolute by this position which is relative at here as you can see that okay now absolute the background is rgba red blue red green blue and alpha okay zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point okay sorry for that uh, zero point three yeah that's cool and the from top is minus four hundred pixel and the left is zero and the width is also hundred percent by default and the height will be only 300 pixel because our images also fixed with the height of 300 pixel and visibility is now uh, at the current time without hover is hidden because we want to show that when you are when we are hover on that image and box yeah and the set the time of that transition is point through 2x 2s all eg hyphen in hyphen out is in out now press the control s and save it as you can see that uh, our card button is now hidden and it's on and another thing is now also hidden okay now what you have what you have done when you are hover on that so uh, basically I'm product I'm write a product card and hover what will happen when you are when you are hover on that car product card then the effect of card if a uh, card content is card contents the visibility is visible and the front top is now zero okay now press ctrl s and save it and refresh let's check in the browser okay mm, oh that's a hover effect is overload on that uh, price that uh, product title so let's see what's happened Mm, oh that's it product images okay now press the control s and save it again and refresh now yeah as you can see that is the fit on the Im product images now what is the next thing to do that the next thing is to centralize that uh, button which is cart button okay now mm, so I'm simply add a new class on the card button yeah that's the button card button card hyphen button 
is is the which is the class of that uh, card button okay card hyphen button and the margin is from top and bottom is 130 pixel and from left and bot left and right is 100 pixel okay let's see yeah as you can see that the card button is now centralized from centered from top and bottom and left and right okay now dot product hyphen details let's change the style of product details so the padding is now 10 pixel okay and what is that product name and product price yeah that product name and product price so dot product hyphen name the product name is uh, the font weight which is based on the font weight okay let's see font weight is 400 and the color is um, let's set hyphen hash 57 uh, 5252 okay yeah press the control s and check in the browser okay it's looking good with a 400 font weight okay now it's time to change the product price product price the font weight is is bold and the font size is only 17 pixel okay let's see what happened yeah the font price is now bold and the product price we have spent so product price we have a span and that margin and take a space from left so and we need to write the margin hyphen left Margin left is 20 pixel. You can set anything. Okay. Now press the control S and check in the browser again. If this. Okay, it's looking good. Now you set the proper product price as well as okay. Now let's copy all the things like we have a product product card. So now I'm just copy this and paste 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 refresh okay as you can see that we have a lots of product cards now in the next video we are going to s we will be said this product products as well as like flip card cards okay we are going to flip card okay I'm so sorry for that oh yeah flipcard.com okay when you click on that button it's slide by side by side so we will we also click uh, create a button which is when you are click on that button that products are slide one by one so thank you so much guys for watching this video now let's meet in the next video